Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, and whichever time you're watching this, welcome to SSC and welcome to SSC Presents Current Affairs Quiz Show brought to you by SSC, in which we shall discuss 30 important MCQs relating to the current affairs of second week of October 2022, and that would be in quiz format. So let us proceed. Let us take a brief overview of the session. First of all, we shall have 30 MCQs in the quiz format, and then we have homework questions followed by important dates, important news, persons in news, places in news, countries in news, and at the end, bonus questions. So don't miss the session till the end. So there are total of 30 MCQs, first of all, in the quiz format, and I request you all to please participate in the quiz and check your scores at the end and uh, do tell us that how much do you score out of 30 write your answers in the chat box or in the comment box so the first question which city will host fifth assembly of international solar alliance the options are on the screen and your time begins now fifth assembly of international solar alliance Zaipur, delhi indore or bangalore The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Delhi. So, fifth assembly of International Solar Alliance will be held by Delhi. Okay. So, International Solar Alliance, uh, its headquarter is at Gurugram in India only. Okay. It's an international organization headquartered at India. So, remember this. Uh, this is it. Let's go to the next question. The next question. What is the name of individual from Belarus who have won Nobel Peace Prize in 2022? The options are there and your time begins now individual from Belarus you know uh, Nobel Peace Prize as we have already discussed in the Nobel Prize session if you have watched it uh, it has been won by three uh, people one is uh, of course individual and other is two uh, organizations okay so uh, the time is over the correct answer to this question is Alan Alice Bialyatsky as I was saying that it has been won by one people one person and two organizations and the name of the person is Alice Bialyatsky from uh, Belarus whereas two other organizations are the memorial uh, from Russia and the other one is an, uh, another organization called Center for Civil Liberties in Ukraine okay so remember this uh, let's go to the next question Indian Air Force Day we know that it's observed every day on 8th of October 2022 the question been asked is which raising day was observed on 8th October 2022 of Indian Air Force which reading day 87th 88th 89th or 90th The time is over. The correct answer to this question is 98th raising day. So, Indian Air Force was raised on October 8, 1932. So, this year it completes 90 years. Okay. So, that's why uh, we say that 98th raising day was observed. Okay. Indian Air Force Day is on 90th, uh, on 8th of October 2022, observing 90th raising day. Next. When is World Mental Health Day observed? The options are there and your time begins now. World Mental Health Day. October 12, October 14, October 10 or October 15. The time is over. The correct answer is October 10. Every year World Mental Health Day is observed on October 10. And this year's World Mental Health Day theme, as you can see on the screen, is making mental health and well-being for all a global priority. Okay, so this is the theme. Next. Which village has been declared as India's first 24-7 solar-powered village? The options are there and your time begins now. India's first 24-7 solar-powered village. Modhera, Madhapur, Khavra or Azrakpur. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Modhera. So India's first 24-7 solar-powered village is Modhera. I hope this is clear. Let's go to the next question. But before moving forward, you know that the PDF of current affairs sessions on SSC Sikkim is just for rupees 10. For this, you need to click in the link in the description box. There's a link and pay rupees 10 only via any payment method. After payment, wait for the PDF in the Google Drive link to open automatically. Do not press the back button and save the PDF in your device, else the PDF will be lost. So in this way, you get the PDF of this session at only rupees 
10 and the PDF of all sessions in SSSKM covering all state, national, international, current affairs will cost you rupees 400. So these are the things you get in rupees 400. I will discuss this at the end of this video. For this PDF, you need to send a message to the WhatsApp number as you can see on this screen. So let's proceed to the next question. The next question is, Mulayam Singh Yadav, who passed away on October 10, 2022, has served as the Chief Minister of which state? The options are there and the time begins now. So Mulayam Singh Yadav, okay, it's an obituary. He have recently died and he was the former Chief Minister of which state is the question. The time is over. The correct answer is Uttar Pradesh. Mulayam Singh Yadav has been the Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh for three terms as you can see on the screen. Okay. Mulayam Singh Yadav is the father of Achilles Yadav who was also the former Chief Minister of Uttar Pradesh. Okay. So Mulayam Singh Yadav. Next. Nobel Prize 2022 in Economics has been awarded to Ben S. Bernanke, Douglas W. Diamond and Philip S. Divick. For what purpose? The options are there and your time begins now. This also we had discussed in the Nobel Prize session a video in SSSKM. I hope you've watched it. And if you've watched it, you should answer it. It's an easy question. The correct answer to this question is research on bank and financial crisis. So three people, Ben S. Bernanke, Douglas W. Diamond and Philip H. Dybwick have won Nobel Prize 2022 in economics. So this is it. Next, uh, as I was saying that uh, videos, are, there are two videos on Nobel Prize. One is on static facts and other is on Nobel Prize 2022. Please watch it. You will get the link in the description. Next, which state started its own Olympic? The options are there and your time begins now. Its own Olympic. Which state has started it? Chhattisgarh, Andhra Pradesh, Telangana or Kerala. The time is over. The correct answer is Chhattisgarh. You know, Chhattisgarh's uh, chief minister who is Bhupesh Baghel, he have inaugurated state's own Olympic. And the aim of this uh, Olympic is to provide a center stage to the village level sport so that a feeling of pride for the culture is inculcated. More details on the PDF as well as on the screen. Next. Who won his record 25th world title in World Billiards Championship in Kuala Lumpur? The options are there and your time begins now. 25th world title in World Billiards Championship in Kuala Lumpur. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Pankaj Arwani. Pankaj Arwani is a billiards player and he have won 24th world title in World Billiards Championship. And this was held at Kuala Lumpur, which is the capital of Malaysia. So I hope this is fine. Let's go to the next question. What is the name of the exercise hosted by India in which Pakistan is taking part? It's a pretty easy question. The options are there. And your time begins now. Saffron Bandit, wide awake. SCO anti terror exercise or exercise red flag. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is SCO anti terror exercise. Okay. SCO, which means Shanghai Cooperation Organization. So I hope this is clear. And in this, India was India has hosted it and Pakistan has also taken part because both India and Pakistan are the members of SCO. So I hope this is clear. Next is what is the rank of India in self reliant defense production? among 12 countries the options are there and your time begins now self-reliant defense production among 12 countries the time is over the correct answer to this question is fourth okay india ranks fourth in this ranking self-reliance defense production next which uh, state will host the 37th edition of national games in october 2023 the options are there and your time begins now 37th edition you know uh, 36th edition of national games was recently concluded and that was hosted by gujarat the question here is who will be hosting next year's national game that is 37th edition i hope it is the questions have been answered correctly the correct answer is goa okay goa has goa will be hosting 37th edition of national games next who became the first athlete to win gold medal in Yogasana at 36th National Game, which happened in Gujarat, right? I just discussed. Then who have won the gold medal? First athlete to win the gold medal. The time is the time is begun. The options are there.
well the time is over the correct answer to this question is puja patel okay puja patel of gujarat she have become the first athlete to win gold in yogasana okay yogasana is one of the five sports to be played at the national games this year for the first time and yogasana was played for the first time and puja patel have won the gold in yogasana i hope this is fine next water sports center jointly built by sai which is sports authority of india and ntpc was recently inaugurated in which state the options are there and your time begins now water sports center madhya pradesh himachal pradesh kerala or andhra pradesh the time is over the correct answer is himachal pradesh okay so himachal pradesh is the state where water sports center have been uh, recently inaugurated built by sai next Home Day Chief Justice of India, you you Lalit recommend as the next Chief Justice of India. The options are there, and your time begins now. By the way, as I am uh, uploading this video, the Chief Justice have already taken his place. So, who is the present Chief Justice of India? So, as we know that former Chief Justice you you Lalit have recommended the next Chief Justice of India as Justice D Y Chandrachud. So, Justice D Y Chandrachud, he have already uh, assumed his uh, chair as the chief justice of india so dy chandrachud is the new cji okay so i hope this is fine dy chandrachud former was yulu lalit before this was nv ramana i hope this is fine next who has won sastra ramanujan prize 2022 the options are there and your time begins now sastra ramanujan prize 2022 peter sarnak ian stewart yoon king tang or ten star The time is over. The correct answer is Yoon King Tang. Okay, Yoon King Tang has won Sastra Ramanujan Prize. IMF has cut down India's GDP growth forecast to what percent in 2022? The options are there, and your time begins now. India's GDP forecast. IMF has cut down India's GDP forecast to what percent? Cut down means reduced. Okay, reduce the forecast. IMF International Monetary Fund. The correct answer is 6.8 percent. So IMF has finally put its uh, projection of India's economic growth at 6.8 percent in 2022. I hope it is fine. Next, PM Divine Scheme aims at developing which region of India? The options are there, and your time begins now. PM Divine. I think you have heard of this scheme. So it is aiming at developing which region of India? Border region, coastal region, hilly region, or north? region not this region the time is over the correct answer is not this region as the full form of pm divine is prime minister development of northeast in a uh, region okay so pm divine it is the full form prime minister's development initiative for northeast region so this is it and the budgetary outlay of 6600 crores for the four years from the period of 20 to 23 to 25 26 has been allocated in pm divine scheme and sikkim is also one of them okay so this is it next president draupadi murmu have launched param kamarupa supercomputer facility in which iit the options are there and your time begins now param kamarupa supercomputer facility in which iit iit bombay iit delhi iit guwahati by the way bhu is not the right answer bhu is not an, not an iit the correct answer is IIT Guwahati. Okay, so Param Kamarupa Supercomputer Facility has been inaugurated at IIT Guwahati by President of India Srimati Draupadi Murmu. I hope it is fine. Who has been elected as the new President of Iraq? A pretty important question. New President of Iraq. This may come in exam. Abdul Latif, Rasid Ali Allawi, Juma Inad, or Fawad Hussain. The time is over. The correct answer is Abdul Latif Rasid. Okay, Abdul Latif Rasid or Rasid is the new president of Iraq. Iraq whose capital is Baghdad. Okay, Baghdad. Iran's capital is Tehran and Iraq's capital is Baghdad. I hope it is fine. Next, scientists have found a new ecosystem, the trapping zone in which country? Okay, trapping zone is the new ecosystem found by scientists in which country? The time begins and the options are there. Australia, Japan. Thailand or Maldives. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Maldives. Okay, so scientists have found new ecosystem trapping zone in Maldives. So I hope it is fine. Next, 
which airport has been completely turned into renewable energy? The options are there and your time begins now. Completely turned into renewable energy. Indira Gandhi International Airport, New Delhi. Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport, Mumbai. Chennai International Airport or Rajiv Gandhi International Airport at Hyderabad. The correct answer is Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport and it's in Mumbai. So it will be completed. It has been completely turned into renewable energy. Okay. You can simply remember Mumbai Airport. Okay. But it, there are many, many other airport apart from this in Mumbai. So the name is Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj International Airport. I hope this is fine. Next, who is replacing Saurabh Ganguly as the new president of BCCI? A pretty interesting and important question. So Saurabh Ganguly is no more the president of BCCI, that is Board of Cricket Control in India. So who is the new president in place of him? Roger Bini, Jagmohan, Dalmia, Sarath Pawar or Sasang Manohar. The time is over. The correct answer is Roger Bini. Roger Bini has been a part of India's 1983 World Cup winning team. So he is the new BCCI president replacing Saurabh Ganguly. So it's fine. Let's go to the next question. What is India's rank in the Global Hunger Index 2022 among 121 countries? The options are there and your time begins now. So Global Hunger Index has released recently and what is the rank of India among 121 countries? The time is over. Very sadly, the correct answer is 107th rank. So India ranks 107 out of 121 countries on the global hunger index in which it fares worse than all countries in South Asia except the one which is Afghanistan. So India ranks 107. Okay, so this is it. In fact, many other countries, neighboring countries that is Sri Lanka, Nepal, Bangladesh and Pakistan, they have ranked better than India in global hunger index. So this is a matter of worry. So I hope this is fine. More details in the PDF as well as on the screen. Let's go to the next question. Which Indian naval ship raised port Grecoria, which is in South Africa and will participate in 7th edition of Ip Summer. Okay, it's an exercise. The options are there and your time begins now. INS Tabar, INS Dalwar, INS Tarkas or Indian naval ship Trikat. The time is over. The correct answer is INS Tarkat. Okay, INS Tarkat is the right answer. Uh, Tarkas, okay, INS Tarkas. It's, it reached Port Grecoria, which is also known as Port Elizabeth in South Africa and will participate in the 7th edition of Ipsamar, which is a joint multinational maritime exercise among Indian, Brazilian and South African navies. Okay, so there are three navies involved in this exercise, Indian Navy, Brazilian Navy and South African Navy and it's the 7th edition of this exercise, okay, military exercise. So I hope this is fine. So let's proceed to the next question. What is rank of India in commitment to reducing inequality index that is CRII 2022? The options are there and your time begins now. CRII 2022. India's rank in it. The time is over. The correct answer is 123. Okay, out of 161 20s, India has ranked 123 in commitment to reducing inequality index CRII. Okay, so this is it. Norway leads this rank. Okay, so this is fine. Let's proceed to the next question. The fourth Bande Matram train, which was recently inaugurated, runs between Delhi and Amb Andwara of which state? The options are there and your time begins now. Uttar Pradesh, Haryana, Himachal Pradesh or Punjab. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Himachal Pradesh. Okay, so Himachal Pradesh, uh, which is Amb Andwara in Himachal Pradesh and in Delhi, okay, between these two uh, cities, fourth Vande Matram train has been inaugurated. Okay, three have already been running. Next. Prasthan is the security exercise of which armed forces? Prasthan. The options are there and your time begins now. Prasthan is the security exercise of which armed forces? Indian Navy, Indian Army, Indian Air Force or none of the above. 
the time is over the correct answer to this question is indian navy okay more details on the screen remember that prasthan is the security exercise of indian navy so this is it let's proceed to the last a uh, second and last question which indian athlete has been banned for three years in the charge of doping okay the options are there and your time begins now which indian athlete has been banned for three years in the charge of doping The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Kamal Preet Kaur. Okay, Kamal Preet Kaur is the Indian discus thrower, and she has been banned for three years in charge of doping. So I hope this is fine. Let's proceed to the next question. The last question: Which state has hosted 36th National Games 2022? Host of 36th National Games 2022. The options are there, and your time begins now. I think this you should answer. We just discussed a few questions before as well. 37th National Games hosting country hosting state is Goa. So the 36th National Games was hosted by Gujarat. Okay, this was pretty simple. So I hope this is fine. And with this, we complete the quiz. Uh, please write your scores at the comment box. That how much do you score out of 30? So now let us discuss few homework questions. Now we have 15 homework questions. So let us see these homework questions. And I request you to write the answers of these questions if you know right now in the comment box. And even if you don't know, then you can search for the answers of these questions and come back to the comment box of this video to write the answers. So I hope this is clear. Let's proceed to the first homework question. When Cyber Jagarupta Divas is observed, Cyber Jagarupta Divas, the options are on the screen. Government of India have approved the creation of new weapon system branch for which armed forces? The options are on the screen. When is the International Day of Girl Child 2022 observed? The options are on the screen. Who has become the first Indian woman cricketer to win ICC Player of the Month? The options are on the screen. Education 4.0 India report have been launched by which institution? The options are on the screen. The second United Nations World Geospatial Information Congress is being held in which city of India? The options are on the screen. In FIFA Under-17 Women's World Cup, India will play its inaugural match against which country? The options are there. India partnered with which country in launch of new energy task force? The options are on screen. For the first time, a weapon system branch for officers has been approved for which armed forces? The options are on the screen. On which state football for all program has been launched? The options are there. One day Bharat based freight services is going to be introduced via which route? One day Bharat based freight services. The options are on the screen. Who became the first actor to film in outer space? The options are on the screen. 17th Pravasi Bharatiya Divas is going to be held in which uh, city? The options are on the screen. Which institute topped in Times Higher Education Ranking 2023 among Indian universities? The options are on the screen. When, what is the theme of Second United Nations World Geospatial International Congress 2022? The options are on the screen. So with this, we complete homework questions. The answer of all these questions will be available in the PDF if you purchase it. So this is it. Let's proceed to important days of October, second week, 2022. Now we have few important news. Let us go through these news as well. World Bank uh, slashes India's economic growth forecast to 6.5%. ISRO's Chandrayaan-2 spectrometer maps abundance of sodium metal on moon for the first time. Union Minister Smriti Irani releases operation manual of Beti Bazao Beti Padhao. Indians to be able to pay in Europe using UPI soon. And center extends ethanol subsidy scheme till March 2023. IMF slashed India's GDP growth at 6.8%. 
retail inflation which is also known as CPI consumer price inflation have uh, highest since April uh, for this month uh, 7.41 percent for the month of September and Israel on and Lebanon agreed to historic agreement on the maritime dispute so these are the important news so now let's see some important persons in news October 2nd week 2022 All these persons were in news and can be important from examination point of view. Now let us see some places in news. Countries in news Now we have few bonus questions so just go through these questions So these are the bonus questions So you will get it in the PDF these questions can also be important from examination point of view so have a look at these questions as well. so to get the pdf of this session click on the link in the description pay to please stand by any payment method and we wait for the pdf in google drive link to open automatically and you will get the pdf and save the pdf in your device and to get the pdf of all sessions it will cost you 400 you get past one year one month a uh, one year second current affairs past six months national and international current affairs second current affairs 375 plus mcqs past year second gk salt and all for the current affairs sessions and important topics pdf and telegram so this is it thank you so much don't forget to like share and subscribe to ssc second